Azure This Week is the show where we collect all the news from the Microsoft Cloud from the past week, put them in a pot, add a little ginger, a pinch of cardamom, and a teaspoon of nacho mix, put it all through a fine mesh sieve, and then see what comes out. And this week, the process revealed the following news. There's a public preview of multiplayer servers with PlayFab. There's a preview of Azure Cognitive Services containers, and you can now build your own enterprise-grade virtual assistant. It's not often that we get to do gaming news here in the world of Azure, but this week is an exception. Well, sort of. PlayFab multiplayer servers brings you the expertise and scalability of PlayFab and Azure to get multiplayer games up and running quickly with cloud compute while you focus on the game. PlayFab is a back-end platform for live games that give you real-time analytics, live services like messaging and more. PlayFab is now using Azure compute resources to reduce the cost of their hosting services for dedicated game servers. This move allows PlayFab to dynamically respond to player demands such as increased in numbers. This is done using containerized apps on Azure VMs. It also lets them control costs of development much more accurately using telemetry and analytics. The whole experience is baked into the PlayFab platform, which means that you get all the benefit but don't have to worry about scaling and all the other cloud configuration things. The multiplayer service from PlayFab is available now. This week, Azure Cognitive Services Containers is here, making it possible to build intelligent applications that span the cloud and the edge. And again, we like buzzwords, the edge, right? Edge computing. Now, Cognitive Services is an easy way to add object detection, vision recognition, and language understanding into applications without having direct AI or data science skills or knowledge. That's kind of a bonus. I like that. So by deploying cognitive services in containers, customers can analyze information close to the physical world where the data resides to deliver real-time insights and immersive experiences that are highly responsive and contextually aware. If you want to get started today, use the link below to go through the tutorial as well. Most people, having used a consumer-facing website in the past year, have come across a bot. An automated assistant trying to answer your questions. Some work amazingly well, some not so much. <laughs> this week, a preview of an open source bot solution accelerator for virtual assistants was announced. This solution simplifies the creation of branded virtual assistants or bots, enabling developers to get started in minutes. It really is that quick. Following the release of the bot framework SDK version 4.0 during Microsoft Ignite 2018, there is now general availability of the bot framework emulator, web chat control, and version 4.1 of the C Sharp and JavaScript SDKs. The web chat control offers a quick way for developers to integrate their bots into existing websites. Kind of neat. You can go and use the new open source solution today on GitHub using the link below. That is all we could fit in this week on Azure This Week. However, there was a lot more news announced, so go and check it out for yourself as well. To recap the news from this episode, public preview of multiplayer servers with PlayFab, which is letting developers of games scale easily as demand increases, preview of Azure Cognitive Services containers letting you build intelligent applications across cloud and edge servers, and you can now build your own enterprise-grade virtual assistant with an easy open source solution on GitHub. See you next week with more fluffy recipes to cook up some cloud juice. Keep being awesome, cloud gurus. <laughs>